The Bible is the manual that provides us with the tools necessary to build lasting and successful relationships. I'll read for you Psalm 119 verse 105 from the New King James Version. It says this, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Amen. We are looking at this in light of the path of relationships. Our ability to build lasting and successful relationships is determined by how well we implement the tools provided to us from the Word of God. A successful relationship has the potential of influencing many generations. Let's look at the following verses together in order to firmly establish these truths. Joshua 24 verse 15, I read from the New King James Version, says this, And if it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the river, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Amen. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Now, as always, with a verse or verses from the Bible, so much can be said. However, I want us to see that, according to Joshua, he did not reserve the aspect of relationship with the Father to himself, but rather he looked at it from a generational perspective. Amen. Now, when you go down and read further, Joshua 24, 31, it says this, Israel served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, who had known all the works of the Lord which he had done for Israel. We see that generational, generations benefited and the nation of Israel also benefited as a result of Joshua's relationship decision. Amen. So we see that as a result, we... We really cannot undermine how we do relationships, whether with God or with humans. Judges 2 verse 7, as I read from the New King James Version, says this, So the people served the Lord all the days of Joshua and all the days of the elders who outlived Joshua, who had seen all the great works of the Lord which he had done for Israel. Amen. This all started because Joshua made a decision, a relationship decision that impacted the nation of Israel. Amen. Now, this is such an outstanding testimony only because one person chose to do relationship the kingdom way. Permit me, permit me say this, that the extent of the positive influence of your relationship will be dependent on whether or not it is done the kingdom way. Do not carelessly do relationships and expect to be remembered many years from now. Amen. Do not carelessly do relationships and expect to be remembered many years from now. In order to properly build relationships, we need to understand ourselves and the person in whom we are in relationship with. Amen. Just like we need to understand that when we worship, our spirit man needs to be in sync with the Spirit of God, so too we need to understand ourselves and the person with whom we are relating with. We will get into an in-depth understanding of this point later in this series on how to gain proper understanding of ourselves and the person with whom we are getting into relationship with. However, by understanding yourself, we mean understanding your identity, your strengths, your weaknesses, your expectations, and more. Likewise, the person you relate with. Amen.